Hello everyone, it's indeed inspiring to see you back again. Let me help you with Tableau walkthrough today. So I have already installed Tableau and if you have not installed it, you can watch the previous videos that will help you that how to install Tableau. We have also discussed that we can use Tableau without installing it in online mode as well. So here you can see that this is Tableau public and the current version, if you see, it is asking me to update the product. So I will say that remind me later. This is the area where basically you will be able to load the data. You'll be able to load and work with the existing projects and you will also get some tutorials to explore. This first area, if you see, this is connect. It can connect to a file. It can connect to a server because it is a free version. So we have limited sources of connections over here. If it would if it would have been a paid version in that particular case you would have got lot many other sources as well which includes some databases then Hadoop systems cloud systems some servers so multiple such systems you would have got which you can connect here and then you can load your data so this is the first part that how we can actually load the data into Tableau that connection making is very important because without data, Tableau can't do anything. So data is required. Below here, you can see save locally, work with big data, connect to more data sources. So upgrade now. So once you will upgrade, then basically it is going to ask you for some, you know, uh, paid versions. And at that particular time, you will get Tableau desktop. So here you can see this is Tableau desktop. Start a free trial. You can also go for a free trial. So these are different, different products of Tableau. If you go into the product section, you will see that we have Tableau desktop, Tableau server, Tableau cloud, Tableau prep, CRM analytics, Tableau public. So Tableau public is the one which we are using. And as I informed you that Tableau public can be used on your desktop as well as Tableau public can be used online as well. Both have got same interface. Now, we have data management tool, advanced management, embedded analytics, and a lot of integrations. Integration means from uh, somewhere the data comes, so you can integrate, and somewhere data goes, you can again integrate. So, so to bring the data and to basically push the data, you need integrations. So these are the products, and what kind of solutions they are giving? Tableau Blueprint, by industry you can see the use cases, by departments, by technology, and some dashboard showcases, and Tableau Exchange accelerator so these are the solutions which they are giving let us go back to our uh, tableau uh, first home screen and here the center section you can see open so whatever work you will do that will be listed out over here else what you can do is you can basically click here uh, from tableau public that means it will take you online it will ask you to log in and then you can download some of your existing work from there i'm showing you that as well so here you can see, here I can basically put my, one of my email ID. And after that, I can log in. Once you log in, you will be able to download your existing project. So this is again a wonderful feature that you work anywhere and then you can access your work everywhere. So whichever system you were using, you can work from there and then basically you can download. So you can see that all these from 2016 till today, whatever I have been doing, all that data is available here. So I can uh, uh, take up anything. Let's say I'm taking churn analysis. Okay, a 2019 some work I had done, September 26, 2019. So you can see getting data from the server and it is creating that, uh, populating all that analysis over here. You can see, so here I have area wise total calls. Okay, then area wise average age, area wise churn and area wise analysis. So some charts I had created at that time. So this is how you can load some particular data or project from that particular place. Okay. Now again, I'm uh, closing this particular window in order to show you that how does it work. And I'm again opening Tableau public. So in this particular screen, in the center part, you can see whatever work you have done that is being displayed as boxes or windows. And here you can see that churn analysis has also come over here. 
Now the third section, which you can see it is gray in area and now it has discover, then how to videos, then viz of the day, then basically we have viz of the days and blogs and other things and last option is to update the uh, this particular version to the upgraded version. So this area, the third column if you see, it has got some tutorials from the Tableau website only, official videos you can say. And the second section is viz of the day. So Tableau always, uh, you know, uh, ask you to nominate, that nominate your vizes. Vizes are nothing but visualizations, the dashboards which you create. And you can basically nominate your visualization uh, to Tableau so that Tableau can or you may get a chance to uh, get this viz of the day as your visualization will be presented as viz of the day. Okay, so all the trending visas Tableau shows this way. So that is a kind of promotion and motivation you also get. And then other blogs and all you can read over here. And the last part is updating to the latest release. Okay, let me show you what is the visa of the day. So in this uh, today, if you see the visa of the day is some social media sites, it is getting opened up. Now you can also create your profile over here on uh, this particular platform that is Tableau Public. The URL is public.tableau.com. So public.tableau.com, here you can go and you can create your own account and you can follow other influencers here who basically work uh, in a great way with Tableau and you can basically gain followers as well. So this is basically a whiz of the day that is social media sites by portion of users who regularly get news there. So this is a whiz of the day. Okay, and trending whizzes are here. So these are the trending whizzes. You can also create and you can also nominate your whiz. This is what is a wonderful way of basically sharing. All right, so let us go back to the window again. So this was the first screen and now in the upcoming videos, I'll be telling you that how to go in the next screen. Till that, keep watching and if you have not yet liked this video, do like it, subscribe and share with the needy ones. Thank you.